Hello. Today I'm going to try something new. This is X-Plane and I'm using Ortho for XP to put photo texture on the ground. This is my home airfield at Popham in the UK and as you can see there are loads of aerial photos of aircraft littering around the place. So I'm going to try and get rid of those. Uh, also down here you're just getting the texture of the runway numbers coming through and the white arrow that is um, painted on the ground. So we've got one actually in the proper scenery and then we've just got one on the photo tile there. So I'm going to edit these tiles uh, manually in a photo editor just to tidy them up. So the first thing to do is to locate which folder that tile will be in. So I'm going to use little nav map here and to make it a bit clearer I'm going to go to uh, view and theme and change it to a dark map and then I'm going to turn on the map grid uh, where these red things are, that's Poppen there. We're looking for this set of tiles here. And in Ortho for XP, you want to find the bottom left corner. So it's going to be 51 north and 2 west, or minus 2. Now, obviously, I've already downloaded these tiles, but I'm just going to go through... Um, downloading again just because there'll be some interesting things that crop up. So uh, I know that I want 51 minus 2 so in here we can type in 51 here we can put in minus 2. I'm going to use Google and I'm going to use zoom level 16. While I'm at this stage I'll just show you something in the uh, settings so there's this option here in the imagery section. You can set it to download just around the airports, every airport, so you don't have to manually set the area, a higher zoom level. So um, if we set high zoom level airports to be true and the zoom level up to 17 say uh, I think this is the distance in miles around the center of the airport when you run the download you'll get um, so my base zoom level is 16 and so we'll get all of the tiles at 16 and then we'll get some tiles at 17 just around the airport so when we are looking for the ones to edit if you've done this you have to edit the ones that are the higher zoom level because they'll sit over the top of the or they're the ones that will be used in place of the lower zoom level if that makes sense so i'm going to click on my uh, world map here it's just annoying that you can't quite zoom in to actually see the places so that's why I've used little nav map to identify which area I want to download so I'm gonna I always use the batch build just because it allows you to select all five of these things so to put it in batch build uh, shift and click and you get the little dots this is what I've chosen to do. I'm going to do everything there and then click batch build. And we'll get rid of that window and you can see it chugging away here in the background. That's going to take quite a while. So we'll let that finish. While that's downloading, uh, I'm just going to look at where it's putting these temporary files and what they are in my ortho for XP folder. So at the moment it is downloading OSM data. 
So if you look in OSM data and you can see, so 50 and minus 10, that's a bigger area. That's like this master folder is like to the nearest 10. You go inside that and now we've got 51 minus 2. So that's our actual region. And then this is all the open street map data that is currently being downloaded. And now it's uh, down well, making the masks. Um, I'm not an expert at this at all. There might be some of these things that aren't necessary. I don't know. But so in the Auto for XP folder, you can see now in the masks folder, we're starting to get images building up. So you can see how these temporary files really start to build up if you're downloading lots. And when I looked in these folders earlier, I realized that I had nearly 100 gigabytes of images and downloaded data from previous tiles that were made. And uh, I've just deleted them all because once the tiles are made, you don't need to keep the temporary ones. If you're pushed for space, you can just empty those folders. And now it's creating the image file. So it's downloading uh, JPEG files from Google and then is creating the DDS files, which is a type of image file for the texture. So in the ortho for xp folder i think it's ortho photos so you can see google at zoom level 16. so these are the actual google image files that are being downloaded and what i wanted to look at is the names that are given here so they've got numbers these numbers represent where the image is in a grid that covers the whole world when it's chopped up into zoom level 16 segments. So the tile that's going to sit over Popham will have a particular name at zoom level 16 but if you use a different zoom level it'll have a different name because there are a different number of tiles that cover the world. So if I now look in the folder that I've told it to put the X-Plane tiles in. In the Textures folder, we've now got the DDS versions of the same Google image files, plus uh, these things, which I think are masks. So the challenge is going to be finding which of these tiles in our X-Plane scenery is going to sit over Popham. So you could just view all of these images in a suitable viewer, but that's tedious work and actually a little, if you're looking say for a little grass strip in the middle of nowhere, there's a good chance you're going to miss it. Also, DDS files are not so easy to look at. You probably might have to open them one at a time in a photo editor. You could go back to the ortho folders, ortho photos folder, and then open these in Windows and just click through one at a time. But you can see these cover a big area. So if you're looking for a big airport, no problem. But if you're looking for a little grass strip, this could be quite challenging. So I asked for help from some people who know more about X-Plane and Ortho for XP than I do. And I'm indebted to Johan who gave me this link so on the Map Tiler website, you can use it to look up where these actual tiles sit. And I don't know how he did it, but he, he got it to this bit where it shows Google Maps tiles. I can't figure out how to get to this page from the Map Tiler website. So I'll post this link, all of this, in the description and you can click on that to get to it. 
So this gives us uh, a map of the world and you can see how the names of the tiles change depending on the zoom level and when you're not zoomed in very much they've got very short names these are single digits as you scroll in more goes to double digits triple digits so forth so again it depends on how many tiles you're splitting the world into as to what numbers you get so now I'm gonna just find Popham yeah there we are so that's the airfield now you'll notice if I go to zoom level 16 that this square is much smaller than the actual airfield boundary but when we come to work on the tile you'll see that the tiles are different size so I don't know why but for zoom level 16 in ortho for XP it's the equivalent of zoom level 12 in this website and if you want zoom level 17 it's the equivalent of zoom level 13 in the website I haven't tried any other values but I assume they're just going to go up together so, so the two tiles that I want are going to be this one and this one these match the size of the image files we're going to find in ortho for XP but it's not quite as simple as that so this tile here we've got to zoom in now till we get to our zoom level which is 16 and we're going to need to find out what tile is up in the top left corner because this is the way that this works so I'm going to hold my mouse in the top corner there and I'm going to scroll in with the mouse wheel so this little square is the top left corner of what we've just been looking at and these numbers here are the numbers we want to make a note of but for some reason in ortho for XP they'll be the other way around so we need to flip these so I'm going to write down 21872 and 32528 fiddly this isn't it there are some websites that explain the maths of how to find the tiles but uh, I don't really understand it so I'm doing it this way and now we want to find out the top corner of this square so I've gone back to 12 and I could put my mouse there scroll in so it's this one here so in our ortho for XP textures folder this one here we've just got to find the file that's got those numbers in it and an underscore in the middle so I'm going to search I'm going to search for the first one so remember we're flipping the numbers 21872 underscore 32528 aha and there's our first one now I'm going to open this up in paint.net which you've probably heard of if you haven't it's a really handy editor particularly for um, flight sim stuff because it supports DDS files uh, it's free it's regularly updated by kind generous people who make a great product so I'm gonna open with paint.net and here we are and you can see the airfield where we're expecting it down in the bottom corner great so I'm going to zoom in 
and put the airfield in the screen. This is quite pixelated because I'm only at zoom level 16. But that'll actually work in our favour because it means that we can do rougher edits without it really noticing. And I'm going to use the clone tool, which is this stamp here. Uh, if you haven't got this window up, it's the tools window, which you get by clicking on that. And the clone tool is a bit like a heel tool in some other applications. You've probably used it if you do photo editing. So we want to set the size of the brush. That'll do. And the way this works is you essentially it's like copy and paste, so you essentially copy one area and paste it into another area. So you tell it where you want to copy from by holding down the control key, you get a little anchor, click, and then this is where you're going to paste. So I'm going to first of all get rid of those splodgy things where the runway numbers are, and you can just do single click. I've got my hardness set here, if you want to be more gentle you can have that lower down. Um, or you can actually drag along. So these parked aircraft here, we want to find a suitable bit of grass to copy from. So I'm going to copy this bit here and then paste here. Um, if you want to preserve things like paths or, or, or roads, uh, so I could anchor there, so it's got the path at the top of it, and then when I click there and move along, it's copying that same sort of boundary along. Do that again along here. I mean, this it, it really doesn't need to be that fancy because actually... Um, it, when you've got an airport, things like taxiways uh, and whatnot have their own textures which sit over the top. So if you've got maybe like a, uh, let's say there's an, an apron here, but you've got a bit of the image underneath bleeding through at the edges, you could just delete that. You could just get a bit of grass and just slap it over there so you don't get anything sticking out from the side. Um, let's go for a lighter bit of grass now. Uh, so I'm done on that tile. So then we need to save it. Now, of course, if you're sensible, you'll probably make a backup of the original file first, just in case you mess up. So if you click on save, and then it'll ask you uh, what you want to save it as and uh, I, I don't know what the best format is but I saw someone in another video editing a file and he saved it as DXT1 which I think is the type of DDS file and then he left all these other settings the same so that's what I'm going to do so, OK that fine uh, and now I'm just going to uh, look for my other fi uh, tile. So it was uh, uh, open with paint.net. And hopefully, yeah, we just see it down in the bottom court uh, at the side there. So we'll zoom right in. Whoop. And just going to get rid of those runway numbers. Plane on the runway, get rid of that. Get rid of the white arrow because don't need that.
I think that's all we need to do on that side. Save it. DXT1. OK, now I'm going to restart X-Plane. Reloading the scenery doesn't uh, refresh the tiles. You actually have to close down the sim. OK, let's have a look. Now we've edited that. So the f images of other aircraft have disappeared. The runway number is cleaner. It's looking better. And that white arrow there is looking cleaner as well. So I'm happy with that. That's fine. So just watch out if you're using different zoom levels. You've got to edit the higher zoom level if that's over the airport, not the lower zoom level ones. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.